Hey what's up guys, my name is Twitch or T-Scored and today I'm bringing you guys the best gameplay I've ever had in any Call of Duty game so it's a 119-2, 100% completely solo gameplay in Black Ops 1. I drop 119 kills and only 2 deaths. I had no teammates, no friends, nothing like that, just playing totally by myself. And the gameplay could have been way better, I'll talk about that more later, but just an absolutely insane gameplay guys, I can't say enough about it. I'm really proud of this gameplay, it's really insane, and I even go on a 40 gun streak, which is really crazy for Black Ops 1. It's really hard to get gun streaks in this game because your kill streaks don't recycle like MW3 and Black Ops 2, so if you get one Blackbird in one life, you have to die again to get another one. If it was like MW3 where your kill streaks recycle, you could get multiple chopper gunners and multiple dogs in one life, so because it's not like that in this game, it's a bit harder to get kill streaks and get gun streaks, so. A 40 gun streak in Black Ops 1 though is really insane. It's the highest I've ever seen. I'm sure someone has probably gotten a higher gun streak, but on YouTube, when I search 40 gun streak Black Ops 1 and stuff like that, I don't find any results. So a 40 gun streak in Black Ops 1 is just really insane. And it's even crazy for any Call of Duty. A 40 gun streak is just really crazy, but for Black Ops 1, a 40 gun streak is especially crazy. My highest gun streak before this gameplay in Black Ops 1 was only 27, so I bumped that up by 13, so my highest gun streak now is 40. And also, guys, later that day I got a 30 gun streak as well, so I'm getting better at Black Ops 1, and people on the game aren't as good nowadays, so it's a bit easier to get gameplays on Black Ops 1. And I know Black Ops 1 is almost 3 years old now, guys, but I really do hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. I'm really proud of it, and I really hope it will help my channel out a bit because it's a really insane gameplay. It's really difficult for any players to get 119-2 to 2 playing solo. I thought it was just a really nice gameplay, and I'm just so proud of this gameplay. And watching it back, guys, is really insane. That was a really nice quad feed right there, but I've watched this gameplay like 10 times now, and just to think that I got this gameplay by myself, and it's my gameplay and stuff, I'm just really proud of this gameplay, and it's really entertaining and really fun to watch, and I just really love this gameplay, guys. And my highest gun streak in MW3 is 48 playing solo, and then my highest gun streak in Black Ops 2 is 39, so a 40 gun streak in this game is really nice considering I'm not that good of a player in the other games in terms of gun streak, so I'm just really proud that I got a 40 gun streak, 119 to 2, and I just can't say enough about this gameplay, guys. I got this probably about two weeks ago, and I don't know why I've been putting it off. It just had the gameplay is about eight minutes long. I really don't like commentating for this long, but because the gameplay is so amazing and so impressive, I really wanted to just upload it and get it uploaded to my channel, guys. And in this game, guys, like I said, I only get two deaths. And one of them is just because I get all my streaks, and then I just killed myself on purpose so I could earn another set of them. So if you take out that death from the game, I would have been 119 to 1. So that would have been insane, guys. And then my second death in this game, oh, right there, I get really lucky. But my second death in this game is because I ran out of bullets, and then I picked up a scavenger pack. And then I thought my gun was already reloaded, but it wasn't. So then I ran into this enemy guy who was really bad. By the way, guys, these enemy players in this game were probably the worst players I've ever seen in any uh, in any Call of Duty game. The enemy team was awful in this game, but my second death, I just I thought I had bullets. I thought I was reloaded, and my gun wasn't, so I got a really stupid second death. This gameplay could have probably been flawless. That's how bad these guys were, so if I hadn't killed myself, though, I probably wouldn't have gotten this many kills because after I killed myself, I got, you know, more kill streaks and stuff. And then this gun streak right here, guys, is the 40 gun streak, so really insane. And in this game, guys, I get like 10 triple kills, and just, it's absolutely insane. I get, probably, so I get 119 kills. I'd say I probably got about 60 or 70 gun kills. It was just a really crazy gameplay, guys. And this gameplay here, also, guys, is my highest kill-to-death ratio in any Call of Duty game, so 119 to 2 is a 59.5 KD. And it probably should have been like 119 KD because the second death I had was really, really stupid. And also, guys, I'll talk more about how I could have gotten way more kills in just a little bit. But 119 to 2, so 59.5 KD, that's really crazy. And my class setup in this game, guys, was the FAMAS with Silencer and then using the Gold Camouflage. And then I had Scavenger Pro, Sleight of Hand Pro, and Hacker Pro. And then all my equipment and stuff was Semtex, Concussion, and C4. And then my kill streaks in this game, guys, were the, uh, were the big three, the Blackbird, the Chopper Gunner, and the Dogs. And in this game, guys, my five teammates combined only got 125 kills, which is only six more than I had. So 125 kills between all of my teammates, and then I dropped 119 kills. So I nearly got half of my team's kills, which is pretty crazy for Nuketown. So that's pretty insane, guys. And this gameplay honestly could have been uh, the first ever 200-plus solo in Black Ops 1 because the game ended uh, the game ended 202 to 67 so that could have added about three more minutes to the game 
And then also if my team had held off on capping the B flag to start off the game, that could have added like 2 minutes and prolonged the game as well. So the game could have been about 5 minutes longer, and in 5 minutes I probably could have earned another kill streak or 2 sets of kill streaks. So that could have got me about, you know, 70 or 80 more kills. That would have been insane. And then also guys, my second chopper gunner in this game, I called it in too late because my teammate had an attack helicopter up in the air. I think it's this attack helicopter right now. It was in the air for such a long time, I didn't I didn't get to call on my chopper gunner for a while, so if I could have used all of my second chopper gunner, I only got to use about half of it. Uh, that probably uh, that probably could have got me about 15 or 20 kills as well. And then also guys, when the game ends, there's only 5 enemy players in the game. And I think for part of this game, they only had 4 players, so right there is when I thought I had bullets and I just failed and got a stupid death, but... Uh, also guys, so the enemy team wasn't full, so if they did have 6 players for the whole uh, period of the game, I probably could have gotten a lot more kills as well, so if you factor in all that stuff in this game guys, I probably could have gotten 1, maybe 2 more sets of kill streaks. and if you get 2 sets of chopper gunner and dogs, that's easily like 70 or 80 more kills, and if the game had also been 5 or 6 minutes longer like it could have been, I don't even want to know how many kills I could have gotten guys, it could have probably been the first ever 250 plus for Black Ops 1, which is just insane because I was playing solo, and also guys, the hit detection in this game was just insane, I get like 30 kills, and this chopper gunner here, my kill streaks just went insane, and oh my god guys, this gameplay could have honestly been 250 kills solo, that's impressive for any Call of Duty, that's never been done before, that would have been just ridiculous, a 250 plus solo, I, can just, I can't even say enough about this gameplay guys, just watch the kill feed right here, I'm just getting a million kills with this chopper gunner guys, so the gameplay like I said it could have been 5 minutes longer, they could have had more players in the game and stuff, it just could have been an insane gameplay guys, and I really wish I didn't have that second stupid death because it could have been a 119 to 1, so it could have been my first ever 100 KD gameplay, that would have been insane. And my friend Tanner was watching me play this game because I was at his house. And right here, guys, I wanted to call, call in my second chopper gunner, and I called in a bit too late. If my team had held off on the flags just a little bit more, I could have used all of my second one. And I probably could have gotten like 20 or 30 more kills, so this could have probably been 150 to 1, maybe even a 250 plus solo. And that's just insane, guys, because even the uh, people who play this game with full parties and stuff, still 119 to 2 in a full party is insane, so... I just thought this gameplay was really insane guys, and I would honestly really appreciate a like and a favorite on this video. I never ask for likes on my videos guys, but it's my highest ever KD in any game, my most ever kills in any game, it's my highest gun streak in Black Ops 1, and it's just the best gameplay I've ever had in any Call of Duty, so please guys drop a like, drop a favorite, I would honestly really appreciate it so much guys, and I really hope this video helps out my channel, so hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay, see you guys next time, peace out.